Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to flip any of the hairstyle in your Character Creator 3 and iClone 7. You can just have a look, this is your Character Creator 3. You have a hairstyle and how are we going to flip the whole 3D models of, of the hairstyle like a mirror image to flip it in that way to make it become become the mirror of the, of the 3D object. Alright now, I'm going to show you step by step how to do this. You can just scroll down, go to the video description there. I already give you a, a workflow, but now I'm going to demo how are we going to do it. So, now I delete the hairstyle. First, you can apply any of the hairstyle here. So now I'm, I'm going to apply the same hairstyle, this one. It is under your hairstyle of this. Wait for a while. <coughs> Once you already successfully apply a hairstyle, now we are going to flip it. Before that, I want to show my desktop first. Create a new folder here. You check the workflow. The workflow step one. Apply the hair and export the texture. You right click new folder here. Hairstyle flip on, on the desktop and you create a new folder step one. Right click new folder step one zero one. Export the texture. You back to your CC3 here. The texture are here. You double click the hairstyle and select it already. You have two mesh, two meshes and you have different material. First, click the first mesh and click here, click here, save all material texture. Now this is this is a A-line bob. So you go to your desktop here. Hairstyle flip is folder zero one. You right click or create a new folder here. A line. Bob. Okay, select this folder. You select the folder. Now, it will export all the, all the texture. Next one is the hair mesh, the A line Bob sculpt. So you create a new folder here. Right click new folder. A line. Bob. Scout. Now, you have to save it in the same way. Click here, save all the material texture, and you save into this folder. Save. Now, you already save save all of this. The next step, you check the workflow. Export the web map. The web map is at here under the physics. Click the web map. And now you have two. You have two meshes. The web map is only applied for a line box mesh. This one, you click save and export it on the desktop. The folder zero ones, the hairstyle flip folder zero ones. Okay, here you name it as web map save. So now we finish the step. We finish the step once. We already exported out all of this. Just have to check where is the web map. The web map is at here. This is the web map. So next, the step zero two, export the the avatar. Step zero two, export the avatar OBJ. You back to the hair flip folder. Create a folder zero two. It's for step zero two. Here, export the av avatar OBJ. In here, you click File, Export, the OBJ, correct with the current post. Here. Then, export the material as well. Click OK. Export in folder 02, step 02. Control C. Here, Control V, Enter. Now, you can just type avatar, this is OBJ, save. 
and wait for a while it is going to export the OBJ at here <coughs> so now finish export the OBJ and what is the next step you check the workflow the next step is drag the avatar obj to 3d exchange you need to have the 3d exchange here you drag the avatar obj into the 3d exchange and then the next step export the fbx selected select select the hair all right now at here always remember this is the hair the hair mesh you only want this you click here to select it next you export the FBX here export the FBX and select only the file name you must put it the file name as hair and then you export on this folder control C control V this is the destination here then the target tool preset you choose Maya selected only click OK and click OK now it is exporting the FBX file this is the FBX file if you import back into the 3D exchange you can check again this is exactly it's only the hair mesh alright now we are going to import this into Maya you check the next step this is a step 03 import into Maya import the hair mesh into Maya so you open your Maya and then you open your folder All right you check the workflow now this is a hair FBX you drag into Maya at the center this is Autodesk Maya next now you can see the hairstyle is here you can check the texture as well now you can see all the texture once you click it this is the hair so in order to flip it you click and select it you can you should be able to see that the scale at the scale x at the side here you click and type in negative one minus one enter now it will flip it will flip the whole mesh and now it is the mirror image next you export from here this is step 03 alright step 03 I create a new folder 03 step 03 file export or next the file of the type you have to select the FBX exports and you copy this folder destinations control C to copy and then you paste it here control V Re remember to press enter now the file name you name it as hair flip then click export all now you have this FBX file the next step is step 04 04 you send the avatar to iClone 7 in your CC3 here, you send the avatar send to iClone 7 and wait for a while, it is loading the avatar into the iClone 7 okay, wait, before, before you send it to iClone, make sure you remove the hair first okay, this is in character creator 3 remove the hair, press delete buttons and then, you click send to iClone here now it is sending to the iClone it is in iClone 7 already now so next always remember open your 3D exchange 7 create a new one make sure it is empty you go back to your folder the hair flip you drag the hair flip into the 3D exchange and click OK next you click apply to iClone 
and wait for a while now. It is apply, applying into the icons. And remember, now it is just a. Uh, it is wait. You double click the hairstyle. Now it is just a prop. So now. You have to click here. Click here, and you drag it down. Attach to you pick the parents. Click pick parents. Attach to the head. Now it's your time to change. Now you you just adjust it to fit the hair first. To fit the head. Now. Next, you click here. You better make the pivot at the center. Wait. Control Z. Undo first. This mesh is something weird. So now the pivot it is at the bottom. You just let it to be at the bottom first. Don't change anything. By the way, now already attached to the CC base head. Next, you double click your whole avatar. Make sure you select your whole avatar at scenes here. You select the whole avatar already. Click here. Click edit in character creator. And in your character creator CC3 here, the current project will be discarded. You like to save, you click no. And click replace all. Click OK. And wait for a while, it is loading. All right, now, once it already loaded into into your correct character creator here. Next, you have to double click this hairstyle. Once you double click already, next, you drag, drag here down, click here, click create hair brows bird. Next, click yes, and then click base all, and click apply. And click close. Now, this is the hairstyle already. Now you adjust the hairstyle. And next, what you are going to do is you go to the texture here. You are going to import import everything here back. Okay. First you click the first mesh and then click here. Load all the materials texture. Just now it's at the folder 01. The A line box, select the folder, load everything back. And then here, the strength should be 100. Now, next. You can see, compare with the original has down now, everything already flipped. The next one is the hair mesh. You drag down. And you import back all the materials. Load all the materials. This is the A line bob scalp. S select the folder. Now all the material already loaded. The final one is the web map, the physics web map. Click here. Click the web map. The A line bob. This one's load. Load the web map. Now the web map also back already. Close. Now everything ready. Dance and now you already successfully flipped the whole hairstyle. The original is at the left and now it is at the right. Same. Now you already successfully flipped the whole hairstyle and now it's your time to save a new hairstyle. You click the custom, click the group, click the hair, legacy, CC, you click plus. And now this is the new hairstyle that's already flipped by you. And now you can use it in any of other characters, in any of other avatar. All right, that's all for today about how to flip any of the hairstyle in Character Creator 3CC3 and just make it like a mirror image, perfectly fits everything. And you can use this hairstyle for any of other avatars. This is a new hairstyle that you flip by using some of the life hack techniques. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, 
you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy happy animation and game developing. See you.